okay today let's discuss about normal to a circle and pair of tangents to a circle you know that we'll have pair of tangents right and in previous video on circles we discussed about tangents equations of tangents and point of contact today let's continue that by normal to a circle normal what is a normal okay the normal at any point on a curve the normal of any point of a curve the normal of a curve at any point is straight line which is perpendicular to the tangent to the curve at the point means if there is a tangent at a particular point to a curve then normal is the perpendicular line to the tangent now we need to find the equation of that right okay how to derive or how to find the equation of normal of a circle as you can see here it is perpendicular to the tangent maybe this is a way to find first we should find the equation of the tangent and those are perpendicular perpendicular means the product of slopes is negative 1 so you can find the equation of the normal let's see how to prove that in this algorithm step 1 write the equation of tangent to the given circle at given point x1 comma y1 we should find the equation of tangent at the point x1 comma y1 that is the first step and next write the equation of the line perpendicular to the tangent in step 2 write the equation of the line perpendicular to the tangent in step 2 and passing through x1 comma y1 we should write the equation of the perpendicular to the line or to the tangent we have printed in step 1 and passing through x1 comma y1 okay how to find that to find the equation of the line perpendicular to the tangent and passing through this particular point what you can do is the product of slopes is negative 1 right or if the equation of the tangent is in the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 then the equation of the perpendicular line is bx minus ay plus k is equal to 0 means the product of slopes will be negative 1 right from that we can prove this if the equation of the line is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 then the equation of the perpendicular line to that would be bx minus ay plus k is equal to 0 now here we got another constant k right here k may be any other constant but here it, the normal should pass through the point x1 comma y1 right then if we substitute these values in that equation bx minus ay plus k is equal to 0 if we substitute these you will get the value of k then you will get the equation of the normal this is how to calculate the normal now equation obtained in this step is the required equation of normal at x1 comma y1 now let's see pair of pair of tangents for a given from a given point two tangents can be drawn to a circle from any given point we can draw two tangent two tangents to the circle which are real and distinct both of those tangents will be real and distinct and coincident and imagine or imaginary according as the given point lies outside or inside the line means you you will have two tangents right if 
the given point is outside the circle then you can imagine on your own two lines can be drawn towards the circle two tangents can be drawn towards the circle and if the point lies on the circle in which way you can draw two tangents you can just draw one tangent so you will take that like they are coincident from the inside of the circle if you draw any tangent it touches to the circle at two points means there is no possibility for tangents or imaginary now proof let x1 comma y1 be a point x1 comma y1 is a point and let the equation of the circle be x square plus y square is equal to a square standard form equation of a circle then the equation of any tangent to the circle of the form is of the form y is equal to mx plus a root 1 plus m square where m is the slope of the tangent we discussed in previous video right it is mx plus or minus a root 1 plus m square mx plus or minus a root 1 plus m square now the line the tangent passes through the given point x1 comma y1 that means in the same way as we did before you can substitute the values of x1 and y1 then it should satisfy the equation if we substitute them you will get y1 is equal to mx1 plus a root 1 plus m square now if we send mx1 to the other side and square on both sides if mx1 goes to the other side it becomes y minus mx1 is equal to a root 1 plus m square if we square on both sides y1 minus mx1 whole square is equal to a square and square root of 1 plus m square whole square is square and roots cancel so you get 1 plus m square and if you simplify that then you will get m square into x1 square minus a square m square into x1 square minus a square minus 2m x1 y1 plus y1 square minus a square is equal to 0 means here you should square this term so i'll get y1 square which is here and you'll get m square x1 square and here you'll get a square m square a square if you send this to this side you will get m square into x1 square minus a square and here you will get one a square term you, it, it is here minus a square and here you will get minus 2 m x1 y1 it is here this equation is a quadratic equation as you can see so the there can be any any type of values for m though they may be real or coincident or imaginary corresponding to the values of x1 and y1 means if x1 comma y1 lies on the circle or inside the circle or outside the circle for each value of m will have the corresponding tangent now Okay, as you can see, this is the picture P x1 comma y1 and two tangents are P T and P T dash. Now, here in general, two tangents can be drawn from a point x1 comma y1 to the circle. The tangents are real, coincident, or imaginary as the values of m obtained from equation 1 or real, coincident, or imaginary. or as disc greater than equal to or less than zero or according as 4x1 square y1 square minus 4x1 square minus a, a square into y1 square minus a square greater than or less than zero greater than or equal to or less than zero as you can observe this is nothing but the discriminant of the function or b square or 
according as x1 square plus y1 square minus a square greater than equal to or less than 0 means it denotes whether the point is on inside or outside the circle or according as the point p x1 comma y1 lies on outside on or inside the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square now let's see theorem number two the theorem number two is the combined equation of the pair of tangents drawn from a point p x1 comma y1 to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square is means the combined equation means you will have two pair of tangents right the combined equation of them is x square plus y square minus a square times x1 square plus y1 square minus a square is equal to xx1 plus yy1 minus a square whole square or s s dash is equal to t square where s is equal to x square plus y square minus a square s1 is equal to or s dash is equal to x1 square plus y1 square minus a square and t is equal to xx1 plus yy1 minus a square now proof how can we prove this formula okay let pq and pr be the tangents drawn from point p x1 y1 to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square mean there is a point p x1 comma y1 and two tangents are drawn to the circle namely pq and pr the equation of the circle is x square plus y square is equal to a square standard form of a circle and let a h comma k be any point either on tangent either tangent drawn from p x1 comma y1 means you will get two tangents from a point right and a h comma k be any of those two points then what will be the equation of p a you can use the point point form of a straight line it is y minus y1 is equal to k minus y1 by h minus x1 into x minus x1 and as you can see this is the picture of this circle and two tangents from p x1 comma y1 to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square now y is equal to k minus k1 by h minus k minus y1 by h minus x1 x plus hy1 minus hx1 by h minus x1 let us imagine this as equation number one now this is the tangent to the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square this equation is the tangent to the circle right or it is y is equal to mx plus or minus a root 1 plus m square let this be equation number two now by comparing equation number 1 and 2 m is equal to k minus k minus y1 by h minus x1 and a root 1 plus m square is h y1 minus k x1 by h minus x1 now on eliminating m on eliminating m from those two equations you will get plus or minus a root 1 plus k minus y1 by h minus x1 whole square is equal to h y1 minus k x1 by h minus x1 here eliminating m means nothing but we have the value of m right substituting that in the second equation then if you simplify this you will get square root of a square into h minus x1 whole square plus k minus y1 whole square is equal to h y1 minus k x1 whole square how to simplify this if you square this you will get k minus y1 whole square by h minus x1 whole square right then you if you take h minus x1 whole square as lcm you will get h minus x1 whole square 
plus k minus y1 whole square by h minus x1. Now you are going to inside then you will get a square and h minus x1 goes to the other side. So you will get the following equation. Now the locus of h comma k is The locus of h comma k is a square into x minus x1 whole square plus y minus y1 whole square is equal to x y1 minus y x1 whole square. This is the locus of h comma k. We just replaced h with x and k with y. We get the locus. We get the locus of h comma k. Now. Or if you simplify this, x square plus y square minus a square into x1 square plus y1 square minus a square is equal to xy1 plus xy1 plus yy1 minus a square whole square. If you simplify this, or ss1 is equal to t square. Now let's see a theorem to find the pair equations of pair of tangents. In order to write the combined equation of pair of tangent drawn from a point to the circle, we can use the following algorithm. Step 1. Obtain the point or x1, y1. First you should find the point x1, y1. Now write the line passing through x1, y1 having slope m. Write the line passing through this point having slope m y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Now equate the length of the perpendicular from center of the circle to the line in step 2 to the radius of the circle. Means length from the center of the circle to this line we should equate that to the radius of circle as it is the radius of the circle. Now obtain the value of m from the equation in step 3. You will get an equation in step 3, right? From that equation, find the value of m. Now, substitute m in the equation in step 2. Substitute the m value in step 2. Then, you will get the required equation of the tangent. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. If you are not, comment down below why you haven't. If you have any doubts, comment down below and subscribe to this channel.